What up nerds? My name is Leslie. Welcome to the Nerdy Narrative. Today I get to share with you the books that I have chosen to complete the prompts for the readathon that I am co-hosting with Coffee Over Apples and Break Even Books. May the Force Read With You readathon. If you missed the announcement video, I will have that linked in the cards above as well as the description box below. Now, I may not get to read them all, but I have plenty to choose from, so let's get right into it. As you have no doubt guessed by now from my attire, I have chosen to walk the path to the dark side this year. And the first prompt to get me started down that dark path is Lightning, a book that you think will shock you. And for this prompt, I chose Leadfeather by Stephen Graham Jones. He is a literary horror author that always seems to surprise me, shock me, gross me out sometimes. No matter how much I read by him, he always seems to pull one over on me and I'm looking forward to seeing what this one has in store. Continuing down that dark path, the next prompt is Seduction, a book with a pretty cover. I chose S.A. Chakraborty's The Kingdom of Copper. This is the second book in the Deva Ba trilogy. The first book in the series, I actually did not think I was going to like, but the author won me over in the end. I really love one of the characters. I love what she did with that character. I have to know what is next in this story. I'm excited to continue, but all of the covers for this trilogy are absolutely stunning. They are gorgeous. If nothing else, even if I did not like the first book and decided not to continue, I would keep the books just because they are that beautiful. The next prompt that will bring me closer to becoming an emperor of the Sith is Force Fear, a horror thriller book. Well, this works out perfect for me because I host a true crime thriller book club, the Wine and Crime Book Club, and the May pick of the month is Insomnia by Sarah Penbro. This one sounds amazing. I love the cover. It's about a girl named Emma who is about to turn 40. 40 is the age that her mother stopped sleeping. She went insane. Emma is hoping she is not going to be next. Will she? We'll find out. The next prompt, corruption, would not have belonged anywhere but on the dark side, and that is start a new series. The bane of the bookworms. I don't know about you guys, but I'm in the midst of about 38 different series, and I will be starting a new one this month. Finally, I will be starting the original Mistborn trilogy with The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. I'm very excited to start at the beginning of the Cosmere. I have read Elantris. I read the two short stories that took place in that same world. I got ready for this one by reading the 11th medal. I cannot wait to see what Sanderson does with this world. The final prompt to complete the path to the dark side is mind control. Pets or people choose a book for you. One thing I do each month is I let my patrons choose a book for me to read. And I take the patrons that are on this tier, I put them in a wheel, I spin the wheel. The wheel chose Lindsay, and Lindsay chose yet another series for me to start. One I have been very excited for. I'm finally going to get started on the Sun Eater trilogy by reading The Empire of Silence by Christopher Rocchio. This is a very popular popular sci-fi series on booktube. I have heard about it for years. I am so excited to finally have it moved up to the top of the list and see what I'm going to think about it. In addition to the prompts that is going to achieve me the top rank for the dark side, I have also chosen two partners prompts to complete. Both of these fall under the helpers prompt. The first one is Bounty Hunters, which is to read a book that is at the top of your list. For this one, I chose Shauna McGuire's Seasonal Fears. This is one I have been so excited for. I reread Middle Game last month in preparation for the second book in the Alchemical Journeys series. I cannot wait. I don't know what to expect. I have zero expectations, zero predictions. 
I am just ready to see what is going to be next in this world. Are we going to pick up where we left off? Are we going to branch out? Where is this going to take place? When will this take place? There's so much that can be done. I'm just, I'm here for it. The second partner's prompt under helpers that I will be doing is droids. This is to read an audiobook or an ebook. I chose the audiobook for Kristen Britton's Green Rider series book for Black Veil. This book for the Green Rider series is a read along that is being hosted by my friend Feeney Reads. I will have that linked in the description box below if you would like to check that out. If you've read this series before, we are on book four, so I don't know that anybody would want to start the read along at this point. But for those of you that have already read it, maybe had not heard this was happening, but you would love to hear about what the rest of us think as we're reading all of that information where you can follow along is in the description below and then moving into the prompts for the weapons category the first prompt is lightsaber a book with your favorite color as the main color on the cover for this one i chose mark allen gunnell's newest release when it rains this color, if you ever were to see the inside of my house, you're going to see a lot of teal, teal green all over my house. That color is easily matched with different things when I change the decorations of the house for summer. It's just easy to coordinate with. This one is a horror story in which I believe the rain turns deadly. I'm really excited to see how that's going to be explained. Is it a weapon? Did another country manufacture something that made this happen? Is it a supernatural occurrence? I can't wait to find out. Uh, the next weapon is blasters. The prompt for that one is to take another shot at a previous ability. I chose corruption, which is to start a new series because if I'm going to go down the path to the dark side, I'm going to do it well. And for this one, I chose to read the first book and be a Bellic series, Pulse. Final weapons prompt is spaceships. A book that has the sky or stars space in the background on the cover. I chose the final book in the button box trilogy, Gwendy's Final Task by Richard Chismar and Stephen King. I can't wait to see how this particular series is going to end, which good news, at least if I'm going to start three new series, I'm ending one. So there is that. I am very excited to see how this is going to end. As you can see on the cover, we've got the dark tower in the background. I'm wondering how this is going to relate to or tie into that universe from Stephen King. So excited to read this one. If those 10 books were not enough, I do have three more I intend to try and read for the month of May. One, I don't know if I'm allowed to announce as I am beta reading the second book in a series that I've already read and reviewed the first one for. I'm very excited. It is a YA fantasy. I love the cover. I wish I could show you guys this one so very much. As soon as I am allowed to by the author, I will be talking to you guys about this book. I will also be reading Karen Hewler's The Splendid City. This one, guys, well, first of all, the cover is absolutely amazing. This one is set to release on June 14th. I will be reading and reviewing this one for you guys so you can determine if this is one you would like to pick up. But what I want to tell you, what sold me on this one, Eleanor is a young woman eagerly learning about the gifts of her magic. But being a white witch is not as easy as they portray in the books. She's been placed under house arrest with a lech named Stan, a co-worker who wronged her in the past, whom she has now transformed into a cat. A talking cat who loves craft beers, fish tacos, and shooting people. I was sold. I cannot wait to experience this story in the fullest, but it's being touted as practical magic meets the Wizard of Oz in a commentary on our society with a sprawling mystery at its heart. As soon as I read this, I will be sharing with you all my experience with it.
and then the final book that I am planning to read and review for you all this month is The Cursed Among Us by John Durgin. Who would I be to walk the path of the dark side if I didn't have a good serial killer novel featured on the channel? This one really caught my attention when I saw the blurb on Goodreads, which it has been 20 years since the serial killer known as the Black Heart Killer terrorized the town of Newport in 1979. Life mostly returned to normal after the killer was captured. All the townspeople have to do is stay out of the woods where the bodies were abandoned, their chests ripped open, their hearts torn out. Howie Burke and his friends decide rules are meant to be broken. That's what 15 year old kids do. On a beautiful day, they decide to go out in the woods to film a horror movie when they stumble across a mysterious grave. What they don't know is that they're about to release an evil on the town unlike anything in their homemade movies. I read that and I was sold. I love stories about serial killers. I love the trope about making the movie about something that was haunted, abandoned, cursed, and then they stumble upon something that brings it back to the fore. I can't wait to read that book. Along with these others, I have some excellent choices picked for the month of May. I'm excited for the readathon. I would love to have you all join me. All of the information you need is down in the description box below. If you do choose to participate in the May the Force Read With You readathon, I invite you to join me on the path to the dark side. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.